welcome to the Earn Your Happy Podcast. I'm Lori Harder, founder of The Bliss Project, three-time fitness world champion, fitness expert, and cover model turned self-love junkie, lifestyle entrepreneur, and author. Each week, I'll bring you a guest or a thought that will help you bust through your fears, connect to your soul, and get focused and clear so you can elevate your life, business, and relationships. We don't wait until we're ready for someone to tell us we're good enough. We take what we want and we anoint ourselves. Get ready to earn, own, and unapologetically rock your happiness every single day. Are you with me? Here we go. Welcome back to the Earn Your Happy Podcast, and it is time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. So before we get started, I want to remind you that my 60-day challenge closes on January 15th. So if you want to get started on that, go to lauriharder.com forward slash challenge, and it is all about making the choices to support yourself. So if you guys have heard anything about my journey, you know that I have not done this without mentors, programs, tribes books, podcasts, you have to plug in. And also in my challenge, you will find out that it is step by step. It's falling in love with the day to day. It's one thing at a time. It's really falling in love with the journey and the people and what you're committed to and why. So we're going to forget the all or nothing. We're going to forget about trying to change 10 million things at once. And we're just going to choose what plan works best, do some really amazing fundamental steps to start feeling better. And that's really what this tribe is all about. I create programs in safe places for people to grow, right? To really practice being that human human that they are. So being able to fail out loud, being able to celebrate with everyone, being able to say, hey, this is what I'm dealing with. Are you feeling this too? Let me know. And to have people who are on the same page as you, because what happens is if we go and we set these goals or we try to make these habits, but we don't plant that seed into fertile ground or into a supportive um, in, into supportive soil, we are not going to be able to grow where we are. So really make sure that you are supporting yourself in whatever that is, whether it's my program or somebody else's, just make sure that you plug in on a daily basis to inspiration, to surrounding yourself with the people that you need to grow. So you guys, that's lauriharder.com forward slash challenge. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of us. I think we're going to have 800 women. So I hope that you join us. And this brings me to my topic today, and that is habits. I think that's a huge word for right now. I mean, what are we, second week of January? This is a really big week for people because I think it's actually the third week that a lot of people just start to completely fall off. Um, They can start feeling a bit depressed because they felt that momentum of the new year, and maybe they feel like they are not implementing what they want to do. They're not following through. They find it's just way too hard because you've completely cut yourself off from your old reward system, your old way of making your yourself happy has been completely cut off and you haven't yet figured out how to reward yourself in this new way of being, whether it's healthier or whether it's um, reading or self-development or pushing harder at work or paying off your debt, whatever that looks like. So if we have not figured that out and we've gone all in, we will find that there is an equal and opposite reaction to pushing 100% like that. It can 100% come back at you because it's just too much at once. So let's talk about that. Dr. Maxwell Maltz uh, was it, wrote the book Psycho-Cybernetics, and he talked all about how it took 21 days to make a change. But what he was really writing in this book was that it took 21 days to notice a slight change in when you are trying to build a habit. So you guys, I was listening to an audio book today and it is John Maxwell. I'm sorry. It's John Asaraf, like John Maxwell too. Look him up as well. <laughs> and he was talking all about habits and how, yes, we used to think it was 21 days, but really when we start looking at it, it takes about 66 days and that's just on average. So depending upon the type of person that you are, 
um, whether you're someone who's taken on a lot of habits before, made a lot of changes, it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days. So there's a few different things in my life that I've really noticed this massive span and being able to change things. So for me, it was easier to implement water into my healthy lifestyle. So I think that probably, you know, took a month of saying, okay, I'm going to put this water jug out on the counter every day. And when I walk by it, if it's not empty, I am going to finish it by the time the night is over. So that was something that was easy for me. Now, when I started to write a book, I can honestly tell you that it took me two years to (laughs) get into that habit. But the thing is, is that I kept on trying to figure it out. I kept going back to it. Okay. That doesn't work for me. That time doesn't work for me. Okay. That length of time doesn't work for me. That was too long. Okay. That felt good. I feel like I could keep this up. So it's really guessing and checking. And that's the biggest part is knowing what feels like too much. What feels like, yes, you can. Some goals are going to be short or some habits are going to be shorter. Some habits are going to be longer. So no matter how long it takes, we need to start looking at it as being committed to our growth, being committed to our growth as human beings, because either way you're putting in work and energy, you're either putting in work and energy, thinking about what you're not doing. Anybody felt that, that horrible pull and nag where you're not working out or you're not reaching your goals and you're beating yourself up in your mind. Okay. That takes work and it sucks the energy out of you. Or you're putting in work to do the things that make you feel happy with yourself. So really falling in love with the day to day. And one of my favorite quotes that's out there is every day is day one. Every single day is day one, you guys. It doesn't matter. It's like 50 first dates, that movie uh, with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore where uh, she goes to bed every night and it's like the slate was wiped clean. She doesn't know what happened the day before. It doesn't go into the next day. So no matter how much he showed that he loved her the day before, she cannot remember, right? So it's like he has to start all the way from the beginning in order to build that love up for the next day. And that's exactly what this is. We have to view it as what would I do today to build this self-love and self-gratification and connection to God, source, universe, and my relationships every single day. And that's really what it is, is little bits done every single day, knowing that what you did yesterday may not count for today, right? And if that overwhelms you, don't get overwhelmed with that, but just know to back it down and that it is about the habits and the rituals. So starting one thing at a time, starting one thing at a time. So in order to break bad habits, because some of us either want to break a bad habit or we're focusing more on building a new habit, whatever that looks like, it's about establishing a new response. So if you're like, I want to break a bad habit, um, I tend to go to the fridge every single night at seven o'clock after dinner because I'm bored, right? So how do we break a bad habit? Well, the only way to do that is to create a new response. And for me, in order to have broken that habit, what I had to do was get out of the house for the evening. Uh, So for me, when I start to feel that, sometimes I'll say, can I just go for a walk? Can I get up and maybe go throw in a load of laundry? Can I go and pick up uh, my front office? Can I go and start reading? Can I turn the TV off and leave the room? Or can I go and drink a bunch of water? What can I do to stop the immediate response to go to the fridge at 7 or 7.30 at night to start snacking because I'm bored, right? So you must think when that happens, what's a new response that I could do here? And Something else, you guys, that's so awesome about our brain is they used to think that we were wired so that once we were a certain age, this is who we were, this is our personality, these are our beliefs, this is what we do, this is what we're capable of and what we're not capable of. And now with all of the research on neuroplasticity, it shows that we can truly train old, old dogs, us, <laughs> no matter how old we are, um, new tricks so the brain can continue to be new. That is so incredibly exciting. And I was just listening to a podcast from Dr. Um, Christian Northrup. I'm pretty sure that's how you say her name. And she was talking about how, you know, she's in her 60s, I believe her late 60s, and she 
uh, is doing tango dancing because she wants to keep those pathways in her mind fresh and young. And she says she's getting so much better. And I also ballroom dance. And that's something that is so clear to me. Every single time you go or every single time you read a book, it's like we are expanding our minds. They are meant to be expanded. And when we're not growing is when we are actually not happy. So something about When we continue to create a new habit and every single time we make this new choice instead of the old habit, we make this new response, your brain recognizes that new pathway a little bit more clearly and it you will also experience a little bit less resistance each time. So the more and more and more that you do that, the easier it's going to feel to either do that thing or think that way. So stay committed. And this also just brings me to the whole idea of how happiness is a habit, right? Worry is a habit. Happiness is a habit. They're equal habits. So if you were raised your entire life to watch your mom and dad worry, to watch your sister worry, to hear about worry, to hear about how tough life is and that, you know, maybe there's a lot of Um, anxiety and uh, just different fear in the family, right? That is a habit because whenever something would happen, it's a choice, it's a habit, it's ingrained, right? So in order to break that, we need to start choosing a new response. So I can find a million things to worry about, but as soon as they pop up, you can say, and I love this, this is by Dr. Wayne Dyer, and he says, you leave old habits behind by starting out with the thought, I release the need for this in my life. So we have to recognize it, right, first. So when we feel that worry, or when we feel that feeling of being defeated, or we don't want to go back to the gym, or complete whatever New Year resolution we made, we can say, Um, I recognize this. I want to release this negative or this need for this negative thought in my mind or this worry in my life. And I want to focus on what makes me happy or on the good things right now. So what that does is you acknowledge, okay, I see what I'm doing. I see the pattern. I am going to break it right now. I'm going to stop by looking for something specifically that I was proud of today or that makes me happy or something that I can do. So one of the biggest things that has basically made me feel like a completely different person living a different life is recognizing my anxiety, recognizing when I'm talking to myself in a way that I'm a failure or that I'm not smart enough because that was my biggest story and saying, Okay, that is a story. I recognize that. I am choosing to focus on what I have control over, what makes me happy or what I'm proud of. So always choosing a different thought. It's like the other day I was running on uh, this normal path that I run on and I was like, oh my God, this is really dangerous. Like it's darker out and I shouldn't be here and this is so scary and someone could kidnap me and from behind. And I was like, oh my God. Okay, relax. You're totally safe. You're in a well-lit place. This is so beautiful. What could you thank God for right now? What could you focus on in your day? And I was like, wow, can we go down that fear spiral so fast, right? We can start to feel so unsafe. We can start to feel so nervous. We can start to think that the electrical wires from (laughs) whatever's above us are going to swoop down and electrocute us or something's going to happen terrible. I mean, you guys, I... (laughs) I talk to a lot of people who are very imaginative about some fear scenarios that could happen. And that's the life that they're living because they're choosing to dwell on those thoughts. So we have to stop and acknowledge and say, no, no, I'm not doing this anymore. I am going to focus on what makes me happy, what makes me proud, what gratitude I have in my life, right? Because gratitude and anxiety cannot exist together. They cannot exist together. So focus, focus, focus on what you love and slowly but surely you will be building the rituals that you desire to just live a happy life. So focus on the day today because I promise you 
If we don't get grateful with what we have now, we will never be grateful no matter what we have. So have the best day. And you guys, I get so excited to see all of your names come through in the challenge group. So lauriharder.com forward slash challenge. I love being able to see all of you in there and having you introduce yourself and share your stories and really, really, really just be able to connect with a tribe who's excited to meet you and support you. So until next time, you guys earn your happy. Bye everyone. Thank you guys so much for spending this time with me on the Earn Your Happy podcast. I am so glad that you stopped by. If you could take one second to share this episode with someone you think would love it, that would be absolutely amazing and we would be forever grateful. Also, please leave us a review if you feel so moved by going to iTunes and leaving us an honest thought, an honest comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us what you want to hear more of. It would really help us out on our journey to helping thousands and thousands of people. Until then, don't forget to earn your happy. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, I know if you're listening to this podcast that you have big dreams and big goals. And one of the things that can really stop you is struggling with your marketing. Trust me, I have been there. Are you using 10 different systems just to build your online business? Then I want you to try Kajabi. Kajabi helps you build your web pages, set up funnels, and sell your courses, content, coaching, or communities. You've been hearing me talk a lot about funnels on this podcast and the importance of your email list. You can get a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. I've talked about Kajabi before, but here's something that's super cool and new. They just rolled out an AI assistant for creating your online course curriculum. And this means you just type in a topic that you want to create on a course or webinar and bam, it just generates a sample outline for you. It takes a ton of the hard work away. Of course, you're going to customize it to be your own, but this really helps you get over the struggle of how in the world to start which is where most people stop. If you're like me, starting is always the hardest part and that's what makes Kajabi so popular. They've made it easier for creators to build web pages, build courses, build coaching programs, build membership sites, build checkout pages, and build email funnels. So if you're struggling with any of those, you gotta go check it out. Go to kajabi.com. Kajabi was really the first all-in-one system and is trusted by over 100,000 creators. I think that's good enough for me. Also as influencers and marketers use this. And now their smart AI platform makes it easy to take what you know and turn it into an online course and business. Go start building with a free trial at kajabi.com. That's K-A-J-A-B-I.com. Thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone 
phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via Community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com. Hey all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it.